What's up, guys? John here, Titan Talk Tuesday. And man, it's always a good week. I always say that. And it's Tuesday, it's the end of Tuesday. So we're going to hump day tomorrow. Thank goodness. But Titan Talk Tuesday is always a good time. I love coming on here, answering you guys' questions if you guys got questions, talking about the therapy of the week, and talking about some of the health and different things that are going on in the news that you guys might want to talk about or know about. Because, you know, to me, you know, I, I like to know what's going on around me. I like to know what's going on health-wise, science-wise, you know, out there in the world. That way we can get a grasp of what we want to do and where we're going forward. Or, hey, listen, maybe there's some new advancement that we want to check out. So, I always like doing that. Titan Talk today, Therapy of the Week, MK677. Ibutamorin. So, this is a pretty popular therapy here at Titan Medical Center. It's been around for a little bit. Um, I get the question all the time, John, what oral therapies do you guys have? I don't like needles. Um, and, you know, most of our therapies you can do by injection. Where MK677 is an oral GHRH. And it is a peptide. It's not a SARM. Originally when MK677 hit the street or was out there or even came from the pharmacy, people labeled it as a SARM. Select Androgen Receptor Modulator. Now, that's what a SARM is. Well, MK677 is not a SARM. It is a peptide. Ibutamorin works by stimulating the pituitary gland. That's how it works. It's an oral GHRH. That's what I said, so it comes in a capsule. And most of the ones that we talk about here are injectable GHRHs like CJC or Semorelin uh, and those different things that will help stimulate the pituitary. Well, MK677 is the oral version, and like I said, it's going to help stimulate the pituitary. And by doing this, it's going to help you in a number of different ways and health benefits. What are those health benefits and how are they going to help you? So the biggest one I would think is, is sleep going to help, hopefully help improve, um, along with lean body mass, strength, right, skin, elasticity, hair, uh, health benefits like immune system boosting. There's a lot of different things that will come along with it. If you're training or doing exercises, strength will come along with it. Like I said, lean body mass, leaning up, period. So this is really a good one for as far as that goes. Um, as long as you're eating correctly and drinking water, right? Because I think that's one of the biggest things that a lot of people make mistakes on and they start holding water weight um, with this. So at that point, you want to make sure that you are getting a proper nutritional diet uh, or nutritional plan, as I like to say, because diets give people scared that... They don't really know like, oh, I don't want to go on any diets or diets this or so a nutritional plan. And I've talked about nutritional plans many times. Also got a video coming out. You guys can stay tuned to that in the next couple of weeks about nutritional planning and you guys. So if you guys are amateurs or you guys want to learn maybe something you haven't learned, this might be able to help you guys. So MK677, oral GHRH. It's a peptide. It helps stimulate pituitary uh, and at that point, it helps raise IGF-1 levels. And IGF-1 is when you get all these great benefits from that we talk about, especially like growth hormone. Um, you know, everybody focuses on growth hormone, growth hormone, growth hormone. Well, MK677 is not growth hormone, but it's going to raise IGF-1 levels like growth hormone, which are your growth hormone levels. Um, and giving those benefits, like I said, skin elasticity, better sleep, better libido, better hair, um, you know, an all around better feeling overall mood, you know, as far as, you know, some people get depressed and stuff like this, where this can help out as far as that goes, a better feeling about yourself. Um, it will also help with lean body mass. So like we were talking about, um, if you're in there and you're trying to get lean body mass, you know, you're not worried about building a whole bunch of muscle, but you want quality lean mass, right? Um, lower body fat percentages. This can definitely help IGF one deficiencies this can help. Um, some of the studies that were out there are on 65 years and older on those people and raising uh, IGF-1 levels 123%, which is huge. Um, and all our patients, they literally get great benefits from MK677. So if you guys want to know more about this therapy or uh, you want to become a patient and get on this therapy, one, you don't need blood work. All you have to do is fill out the new patient paperwork you're gonna see our medical provider. And at that point, MK677 could possibly be your new therapy to help you guys out, all right? So if you guys are looking into that or want any more uh, questions answered, please call or text us at 727-389-3220. And since we're on the topic, we might as well talk about what we do here at Titan Medical Center because I get it every live, 
every Tuesday, every Friday with Big Drew, um, literally. You know, because I have new people coming on here all the time. So they really don't know in some circumstances. Some people do. So nationwide, we service hormone replacement therapy for males and females, the blood work that goes along with it, the most in inexpensive blood work in the country. And you don't have to be on hormones to get blood work from us or do any other therapies. If you just want to get blood work to see where you're at or have it for your own knowledge, that's where we can help out too. Medical weight loss. So we have a number of different therapies for medical weight loss that are going to help you guys achieve your goals and get you where you want to be, right? If you want to lose a couple pounds, this can definitely help. We have some therapies for that. If you want a big transformation, we can help you along with that too. Our vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, very, very popular and go along with hormone replacement therapy or weight loss or just being a, a better performance. These can help too as far as Hercules Potion, Titan Complete, Titan Serenity for sleep, Titan Ultra, um, Titan Up. We've got a number of different signature, custom, tight medical center therapies that you guys can take advantage of too as well. No blood test is needed for that either. Peptides. So we were talking about peptides, MK677, AOD9604, CJC with Imperellin. There's a couple different peptides out there that we offer for our patients to get them better results, to get them feeling better. And the best thing about peptides, and we were talking about MK677, is they help the body produce their own. So that's the good thing about it. All right. We also have libido enhancers. Males, females, it's a big thing out there. You know, I get questions all the time about that too. Hey, listen, what do you have for females for uh, libido enhancement? Because, you know, my wife or the female calls up and talks to one of the girls and says, hey, listen, I want something that's going to really increase my libido or my drive because, you know, I want to have uh, pleasure with my husband or, my, my, you know, the husband's like, listen, I want my wife to be on the same level as me. And we can talk about some of those like PT-141, um, you know, our Sildenafil, our Wonder Woman's, uh, Superman's. Uh, we're developing some other different libido enhancing therapies for both males and females that will help you guys too as well. But we've got some excellent ones that are definitely going to do the trick and make you feel like a superhero or supergirl. All right. So check out those libido enhancers too as well. If you guys have any questions about any of the services, please, you can go to our website, typemedicalcenter.com, or just call and text the staff, 727-389-3220. They'll be able to answer all your questions, walk you through the process if needed, and get you guys going. All right? So we talked about MK677, Therapy of the Week, Oral GHRH, Growth Hormone Releasing Hormone, uh, Peptide, went over that and the benefits. Please, if you guys have any questions, just hit us up. Let's get into the next topic. The differences between sugars, all right, natural sugars and artificial sweeteners. So this is a big one out there, I think, you know, because um, with the onslaught of all the health issues out there, diabetes type 2, uh, type 1, cardiovascular issues, obesity, and many other things. This really taps into sugars. And let me explain why. And let's explain what the different ones are, all right? So whatever sugars you're intaking, they're different per se. And let's talk about regular sugars, natural sugars first. Natural sugars are in like fruits and vegetables and stuff like that, all right? It's fructose, right? Your body recognizes this and does not produce a whole bunch of glucose and that sugar in your bloodstream. And what it does is basically you can eat these fruits and vegetables and stuff like that and get these natural sugars and not have to really pay the price per se, okay, of negative health effects. And 75% of packaged foods out there have added sugars in them. Not natural sugars, added sugars. Okay, that's 75%. That's a lot of different things. And it doesn't matter if it's sweet or not. A lot of people think of cookies, right? Cookies, uh, the cookies are packaged. They've, they've got all this different added sugar in there. But it's not just cookies we're talking about. Um, we're talking about a number of different things out there. So when we talk about some of these packaged foods, the best thing you can do is, is you can look at the label on the back. And the label is going to tell you serving size. It's going to tell you how much added sugar is in there too as well. Um, it's also going to, to break down the ingredient list. And when you're looking at the ingredient list, it's going to have all these different chemicals in them or ingredients. 
and usually the predominant ones are the first, second, third. So they're almost in chronological order of where they dominate at as being the main ingredient in there. Okay, some, some different sugars, not natural sugars. And you might say, well, John, these are natural sugars, but they're really not. So let's talk about some of these other sugars. So honey, honey is another sugar, right? And honey does have antioxidant properties and stuff like that, but it's still an added sugar, coconut sugar. Um, there's different things like maple syrup, right? People put them on pancakes or waffles and stuff like that. Okay, this can turn. And basically what happens is this. Um, we are only supposed to intake so much sugar per day. So as a, a male, we're supposed to do like nine teaspoons of sugar per day. For males and, or excuse me, for females and kids, it's six uh, grams of sugar per day, okay? Or excuse me, six teaspoons of sugar per day and nine teaspoons for males a day. Um, and how it breaks down is, is there's four grams to every, um, uh, every thing of sugar, basically. So when you're looking at the teaspoon, it's four grams per teaspoon, okay? So you just multiply that times the teaspoons that you had, and you find out. Yeah, four grams of sugar. It's four grams of sugar, yeah. Um, so guys, guys will relate to 36 grams of sugar per day and 25 for females a day. Um, and really, when we look at this too, we look at what we're really supposed to be intaking per day. Like I said, six to nine teaspoons and we look at what we are the average american i believe it's 13 teaspoons per day so for a female or a child that's almost double uh for males it's it's getting very close to being doubled again so at that point we know we're in we're intake uh increase sugar that we should not be intaking and at that point that's where really all the health problems come in because when you start getting all these different sugars or added sugars in it's going to raise glucose levels which is going to make the pancreas start creating more insulin and then what happens is if it keeps cranking the pancreas and creating insulin your cells are going to become desensitized basically to this and this is where insulin resistance comes in and i think you've all heard of insulin resistance uh, it's a really really hot word right now everybody's on this insulin resistance and that's because of health problems right now there's a ton of people and diabetes type 2 is in is a is a pandemic in its own i think at that point um and causing a lot more health issues than maybe even covid right i mean there's a lot more people that are going to have diabetes type 2 and are going to be dealing with these health problems for long lasting time periods so that's a problem now when we talk about artificial sweeteners we talk about some different ones, right? Like stevia. Um, I'm trying to think of some other ones out there. I, just, I don't really Maybe use these things. Honey, no, sugar. no, those those are refined sugars. Yeah, Artificial sure. sweeteners are. Um, let me just. I want to make sure that I get these correct for you guys. Uh, stevia. Um, sucrose. Yeah, sucrose. That's another one. Um, you know, and basically what what happens is with this is. Is some of these different studies like sucrose, right? Sucrulose, uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, with these, now, they don't have any calories. There's not supposed to be any sugar added to this, but there are studies out there with increased insulin resistance with using these different ones. Now, stevia, there's not so many um, different studies out there yet. It's kind of the new kid on the block. So we will see. I try to stay away from these different things like that because they talk about artificial sweeteners possibly causing cancer and all these other health issues. Um, that we could be going through. So the best thing is, best advice I can tell you, stick to fruits and vegetables. And that's part of your nutritional plan. Now, if you're gonna eat out or you have to pick some different things, make sure you're looking at the label, make sure you're looking at the ingredients in there so you guys can make the best possible decision about your body and what's really gonna go on in your body, okay? And you don't want all these different health issues that can come along with high sugar levels or increased sugar levels. Because what happens is, is Insulin can only take care of so much sugar, and then sugar starts um, flowing, overflowing into the bloodstream, and that's when you get these high glucose levels or sugar readings, um, and that's where you're going to cause a lot of different issues in the body, especially cell deterioration, especially with blood sugars. You don't want blood sugars high. It can cause a lot of different problems. Diabetes type 2, silent killer, direct effect on the kidneys can cause issues there too as well. So just make sure you guys are in touch with what you guys are looking at and looking at natural sweeteners, refined sweeteners, 
and substitute sweeteners like we were talking about here and they are different so if you guys want you guys can look up these different things and really know what foods to look for or what sweeteners or artificial sweeteners you guys might want to use uh, as a substitute for what you guys are doing right now okay because some people aren't they want to drink diet soda but listen these are just as bad okay they might think that there's no calories in it there's no sugar in this it's not going to hurt me but like i said there's definitely studies out there talking about the negative effects to some of these artificial sweeteners as well. Because I know a lot of people, right, they drink water all day, you know, they want some little taste of something, you know, they try to add in these different things that have these artificial sweeteners, and they end up paying the price. So look at those things, know those things. Your knowledge is power and definitely helping with your body, right? So let's talk about the next subject, and it's about sports. So Basketball is a good sport. I love basketball, and uh, Michael Jordan is obviously my favorite basketball player. I'm from up north. I was there in the championship seasons. Best of all time, for sure. Greatest of all time. Now, if you guys know Jordan and you guys were growing up during, during that period like I was, you guys will know who Isaiah Thomas is. Now, Isaiah Thomas, if you don't know, was on the Detroit Pistons. He was on multiple championship teams as well. Um, so... Great basketball player, came from IU, Indiana University, where he dominated there. Um, great guy, you know, as far as basketball player or in light of what we've seen. Now, him and Michael Jordan, they don't get along too well. And what, what's happening now is, is, you know, basically some people are trying to call out Michael Jordan and saying that Michael Jordan, if you don't know who he is, is a famous basketball player, that he wouldn't have won the championships that he did, and that's six. Uh, without Scottie Pippen, who was his, you know, basically his Robin. He was Batman. The other guy was Robin. And they would play together and they would kick butt, literally, like the dynamic duel. So some of these people went on there, some sportscasters, and said that, you know, he wouldn't have been who he is, the greatest of all time, without Scottie Pippen. Now, Isaiah Thomas literally just threw his hat in the ring. Uh, he did tweet out and then he took down the tweet saying, yeah, he's right. Basically, Jordan wouldn't be nothing without Scottie Pippen, which is a big shot to Jordan. Okay, and these guys have had problems through the years, you know, even dating back, I think, to 1985, you know, talking about the All-Star break and how Jordan thought that Isaiah basically snubbed him or told the league to snub him. Um, and then in 92, basically when we had the Dream Team, the first real Dream Team, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, David Robinson, Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, right, John Stockton, Carl Malone. These great guys. Well, there was one person that was left off the team, and that was Isaiah Thomas. Now, Isaiah attributes this back to Michael Jordan, basically saying that, you know, he basically helped him blackball him and not being on this dream team. Do I think maybe he should have been on it? Maybe. Now, Jordan says it would have been detrimental to the team. He said that this guy's not a really good team player. I don't know. I just know he's a good basketball player. So, team thing is a whole different story. You know, sometimes people can be great players, but they can be cancers to the team, right? So they're going back and forth. We'll see how that all pans out. But you can't, you can't deny Jordan. It just is what it is. All right, the next one. Let's talk about vitamin D, sickness, and COVID. So there's a lot of research out there right now on what supplements will actually help people get over sicknesses and illnesses or possibly help... Um, prevent getting COVID very badly, all right? Because we don't know if it's ever going to let us get past this COVID thing or it's not definitely not a cure for COVID. But they talk about vitamin D. And vitamin D, I talk to you guys about a lot. Vitamin D is essential for our body in a lot of different ways. Vitamin D is actually a hormone. So if you guys didn't know that, vitamin D is a hormone. They call it vitamin D. I don't know why, but it is. Uh, at that point, what it does is it helps regulate a lot of different things in the body but specifically what we're talking about here is immune function. So we know that vitamin D plays a big, strong role in immune function. It can actually help your immune system. And where do people usually get vitamin D from? Or where do scientists tell us to get it from? Outside, from the sun. Now, people are not being able to go outside or they weren't during this COVID lockdown thing or as much to get sunlight, which has caused a lot of vitamin D deficiencies. Now, me, myself, I go in the sun a lot, even when COVID was around. I live in Florida. I get plenty of sunlight. As you can tell, I got a little bit of a tan. Um, and at that point, I still have vitamin D deficiency. So even with me going out there and getting tons of sunlight, being in the sun, my body is not converting it to what it needs to. All right. And at that point, I have to supplement with injectable vitamin D. 
50,000 I use, one injection per week, and I'm good to go. Some people have to take oral uh, vitamin D and they, they try that first. And if it doesn't work, then they go on the injection. We have oral vitamin D too as well, and we have the injectable. So we cover both bases for our patients. But it's essential for immune function. So it's essential for renal function. Um, so we want to make sure vitamin D is good. And being trapped in the house or in, inside is not going to help your case. And having low vitamin D levels will definitely lower immune function. So you could possibly get sick more. You could get sicker than you usually would. Or you might not be able to recover as fast as you used to. So that's where vitamin D plays a specific role in this. And I know since COVID came on, all these people are looking for different supplementations or different things that are going to help them along with immune function. People are high risk. That means they have different health issues or problems. They want to make sure they're boosting their immune system to the best they possibly can. You have a lot of healthcare workers or first responders out there that are in um, the light of danger. Or they're right on the front line with a lot of sick people. And they want to make sure that they don't get sick or they don't take it home to their family or friends or whoever they may come in contact with. So vitamin D is essential. And with this, it really does talk about how it correlates um, and having better vitamin D levels to a stronger immune system function um, and being able to defeat some of these different colds or helping with COVID-19 as well. So vitamin D, even zinc. So even when you get illnesses, like you're sick and stuff like that, vitamin D levels usually drop, zinc usually drops and stuff like that. So make sure you guys are taking a look at this. Now, if you want to test your vitamin D level, we can do that too. A vitamin D test, very simple, very easy. We can tell you where you're at. Because with vitamin D, you don't want to take too much. And let me tell you why. The reason is, is because if you take too much, it can actually cause harm to you, right? It's toxic if you take too much vitamin D. It's an oil-based injection. It usually stays in the fat cells in the body, right? It stays in there a longer period of time where it's not a water-soluble injection. It gets excreted out through the urine like that. So with vitamin D, you want to make sure you at least check your blood levels to know where you're at. And at that point, you can supplement in and find out really how much vitamin D you need to take in per week where you're good. You're at a good range. You're healthy. Everything's working properly. You're helping boost your immune function, okay? So vitamin D, very important. All right, face masks. Woo, man, this is a topic, man. I mean, I could go outside and literally talk to 10 people. Five people will be one way and five people will be the other. It's either you're on board with face masks, you're not on board with face masks. There's all these different theories out there and conspiracies. There's so much disinformation from our own government, CDC, the WHO, all these different places. So at that point, we really don't know what to think. But we do know that most people are wearing masks and most people are going to keep wearing masks. Even after COVID, there's so many viral uh, airborne uh, bacterias, viruses, bacterias that are both airborne that we can catch um, that people don't really want to. And at this point, I think people are becoming more cautious. Um, and they don't want to get sick. And if people have been sick with COVID, they don't want to get sick because they have been through this traumatic thing in their life. I think Sharice is one of them. And at that point, like, she doesn't want to get sick. She doesn't want to be near, like, people without a mask on and stuff like that, which is fine. I mean, to each his own. If you want to wear a mask, awesome. If you don't want to wear a mask, that's totally on you. So I think that's really is. I think we should respect people out there. If they want to wear it, we shouldn't shame anybody. We should be like, hey, listen, if they want to wear it, that's, that's on them. It's just like if I want to wear a yellow shirt and you want to wear a green shirt. It is what it is. I want to wear a sweatshirt in Florida and you think it's stupid and you're going to wear a short sleeve shirt. It is what it is. It's my choice or your choice. And that's what we should respect out there. That's a lot of different things that I think that we're missing out there is the respect for each other. We have no respect. Kids don't have no respect. People have no respect. I think COVID has basically locked people down where they think that they can say anything, do anything, and no repercussions are going to happen, um, which are, is really crazy. Really, really crazy. And if you have to wear a face mask, you might as well make it a good face mask. You can purchase our Titan Strong face mask for $20 on our website. You can call or text. We can send you out one. It'll match your Titan t-shirt uh, or jersey or whatever you have or maybe a hat. And you guys will look tight and strong all the day. They're real comfy. They got a little filter in them. So they actually have some sort of uh, use, right? And not just a cloth. Um, so at that point, you guys get your tight and strong mask. Pink, black, camo. I got all different types of colors. Gray, navy blue, purple, 
So guys, girls, I got you guys. Check it out, right? And uh, with this, so today especially. So I've got COVID with Sharice back in June. June 14th, right around there. All right, so we've been testing every month to see if we still have the antibodies. Sharice still has the antibodies. I had the antibodies last month. Just did a blood test today. I currently do not have the antibodies anymore, which is scary to me. I'm like, man, before I'm like, I got this invisible shield. I got the antibodies. I ain't got no problem. I can go around people that have COVID and not catch it, not to worry about it. Now I'm like, man, I don't want to get this a second time. You're starting to hear about some of these people out there catching COVID a second time and it being worse for them. So at that point, I really don't want that to happen. Um, so I'm going to do everything I possibly can not to try to catch COVID again. And who knows? Our T cells, which are in our immune function, could replicate and go after these different viruses as far as COVID in my body. And I might not need the immunity of antibodies. So we'll see how this all pans out. And I'll keep you guys in tune to what exactly is going on and how long Sharice keeps her antibodies. Because me, it's been since June, so what, about four months? Because I literally tested like two weeks ago and I literally had them. So this blood test, I was like, I don't got them. She told me, I'm like, what do you mean? I'm like, this is kind of scary for me now. And Peter had it. So at that point, I'm kind of scared now for Peter because now there's starting to be little outbreaks here and there in schools. We'll see how this all goes. And uh, hopefully we're all good. And I don't know, this vaccine's coming. These therapeutics are always talking about. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys in tune. That's why I'm going to keep it cutting edge with this news about what's going on. All right, let's talk about events. So we've got awesome events coming up. Now, Halloween, we've got two events on the same day. One is in Orlando, the Mid-Florida Classic, presented by Titan Medical Center and Deke Warner. Um, that's going to be awesome. It's going to be at the Rosen Center in Orlando. We were just there a couple weeks ago, August, excuse me. Yeah, about a month ago, a month and a half ago. Um, so at that point, it's going to be awesome. Down Orlando, we will see you guys there. We'll be there for most of the time until I think like maybe five or six. And then it's back to Tampa for the Vampire's Ball at the Cuban Club put on by Pie Prep Productions, another title sponsored event by Titan Medical Center. Um, it's going to be dressed up, so it's going to be awesome. Colorado, this is legit. So which portion are you talking about? What, or us as a, And we do. So we service all around the United States. So with any state that you're in, Titan Medical Center can help you guys. Whatever it is, blood testing, hormone replacement therapy, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, libido enhancers, everything that we do, we can definitely help you out, all right? Colorado Welder. So if you have any more questions, you can call or text 727-389-3220 as well, and we can answer even more questions if I'm not answering here for you right now. All right, November. So after that, we've got November 14th, Cars and Gore Tour in St. Petersburg. It's going to be like a great Gatsby type theme. I'm really, really pumped about it. Um, you know, I'm really, really pumped. So it's going to be awesome. We'll have our nice cars out there, have a tight fleet. And you guys come out and join us for a fashion show, upscale event. And it's for a great cause. It's for autism. So at that point, we want to be able to help these different charities out there. So if you're in the area, come out and join us from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. It's going to be a huge mansion. Really, really cool stuff. Look forward to it. Uh, January 10th, Festival of the Speed. And that one, first one, is going to be in St. Petersburg, right in our backyard. So that is awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. Tons of exotic cars. Titan Medical Center, the media sponsor. So we'll be out there rocking and rolling. Now, the 24th of January, we go Festivals of Speed again in Orlando at the Ritz-Carlton. And they, they spread out all these exotic cars and all this stuff across, the like, just, like they're basically the, their, their property. And their property is ridiculous in Orlando, so check it out. Yes, sir, Colorado, you're, you're welcome, man. What up, Jamie? How you doing? Tell Jason I said what up. Uh, all right, so weekly poll. Let's get into the weekly poll. Have you ever tried oral or injectable peptides for medical benefits? Um, and 66% said yes. So that's awesome. 25% said no. 7% um, said no. I don't know what they are. And... Zero people said, it hasn't crossed my mind. How can they help me? So that's awesome. So 66% of the people that answered this poll said yes, they do or have tried oral or injectable peptides for medical benefits. 25% said no. So when we talk about this, peptides are really the new thing. And they are things that help tell your body what to do 
or what to produce. Peptides are really, really awesome, and they're sequences of amino acids. So that's all they are. So peptides are different sequences of amino acids. They're going to cause different results in the body. So it's really cool because our body is just made up of amino acids, and, and these building blocks of protein help in a number of different ways. So if you have not tried any of these oral or injectable peptides, you guys should definitely get on that. From anti-aging to healing to raising IGF-1 levels, weight loss, there are different peptides to help you guys achieve these different goals. So if you guys want to know more about those or any of our other services or therapies, please call or text 727-389-3220. You guys can also check out the website, www.tightmedicalcenter.com. And guys, our podcast, wherever you can download a podcast, you guys can check out and hear our podcast. So if you guys are training or you guys are driving or whatever it is, and you have that little earbud in your ear, you guys can listen to me or Big Drew or our Titan Medical Health and Lifestyle Show. There's many, many podcasts out there that we do. You guys will love it, I promise. If you guys are on YouTube, make sure you guys are clicking subscribe, hit the all notification button with the bell. Facebook, please share this. And Instagram, tag some people at and then name a couple people on there so they can benefit from this information and education that I'm trying to put out for you guys. So, guys, it's the end of Titan Talk Tuesday. I think I'm off to my son's baseball game, so i got to head out of here right now and skirt in the Corvette. So hopefully I don't get pulled over, nothing happens. I'm just joking. <laughs> so at that point, I love all you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in to Titan Talk Tuesday. I'll see you guys next Tuesday, 6 p.m., or this Friday, too, as well, with Titan Lifestyle with Big Drew at 2 p.m., our Titan Medical Health and Lifestyle Show is on ABC every Sunday, 11 a.m. here in Florida. Or you can check it out on Facebook, our page, Titan Medical Center, and YouTube as well. So, guys, it's been a great Titan Talk Tuesday. I appreciate all you guys tuning in, all the support, all the love. Have a great rest of the week, and I'll see you Friday with Big Drew at 2 p.m. with Titan Lifestyle with Big Drew. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you later. Thank you.